Hello everyone, welcome back to a video on the Mills County map. Today we are back with the tree services. The job for today will be to clean up a tree that fell on a brand new RV along with another one on the property. We'll be heading over to the shop here in our brand new Ram 3500. This truck here has a 5 inch lift kit, color match bumpers and it also has aftermarket fuels which look great here on the truck. Today we will be using the new F750 bucket truck along with a wood chipper. We'll also be using Using the GMC 3500 and the JCB skid steer. The customer has requested us to grind up all the stumps and there are a few extra stumps at the house as well. I'm really excited to be back here with the Tree Services series. It's a pretty fun series here on the channel and uh, getting to use some new equipment is always a bonus. If you do enjoy today's video, today's content, please leave a like. Really help us out with the YouTube algorithms. For the chainsaw, I've decided why don't we just use this still. I really do like it quite a lot and it runs pretty well. But here we go guys, they are already loaded up. Let's hop on out here and take a quick look. We have the 2020 GMC 3500. Now this is a Duramax with a regular cab dually, uh, which is pretty cool. We have the JCB 325T, really do prefer the tracks so we don't tear up the uh, turf, tear up the grass. Uh, we have the Lizard Wood Shepherd here and the F750. Let's get both these trucks started up here, both get it set up here with the following mod and then we'll head over to the job site. And let's head on out. I really do like the Fall Me mod here for us. It really helps out in single player uh, with trying to get multiple trucks here to job sites. Now yesterday we did do a multiplayer uh, lion escaping lawn care video which was a lot of fun. And there will be a lot more of that coming here in the coming weeks. And we are just about to arrive here to the job site. It was a pretty close one here for us, not too far, uh, since we mainly try to do jobs here in the town. But look at that, wow, the tree is right on top of the camper. So I think let's kind of get parked here. Uh, we should probably set up a few cones, but I think we should be good. A little bit more right there seems to be good. So perfect, we got this truck all set up. Now this one here, I actually think we'll probably back in it. Uh, but first, I really want to do just all the chainsawing uh, to make it a little bit easier. So we'll just leave this truck here, I think. Oh yeah, we should be good to go. Now we might use the uh, bucket truck to remove a few trees, but let's take a look here at the job. So we have to remove this one. Now they said this is a 2020 camper and the trees just fell down on it. So that's not a good thing. Hopefully it's not total. There's some damage there. So this looks to be, I would say 30 feet high. We'll remove this. Looks like this tree fell as well. We have one, two stumps uh, with that one. And I think there is another stump as well. Yes, uh, there's a stump here. Here. And if we have time, they want us to remove this. Actually, it's almost going to be uh, hitting that window there. Imagine looking out your window and just being able to touch the tree. That's pretty much what's happening there. But let's get out the chainsaw here. Let's get it uh, and get going. Awesome. So we have this here. And I think we'll probably just start cutting this up. Now, all of the wood will be put through the chipper, which I'm really excited for. Big shout goes out to Wood Mountain Farming for all their hard work with these pretty epic mods. They do have uh, quite a few mods, uh, dump trucks, tow trucks, things like that, including uh, bucket trucks, and they're just awesome, awesome mods here. So let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, these have to all be chipped up, it looks like, which is not bad, and we'll just kind of get going on cutting them. Now I think the best thing to do will be to just kind of cut them all and then put them through the chipper. That might be the most efficient way. I hope everyone's been having a great summer so far. Let me know how it is down below. Now, I do want to do a lot more real life videos here for all of you guys. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I've been uh, doing a lot of work here. Lots of landscaping around the house and even just mowing the lawn. So maybe we'll do some vlogs. I think that'll be a lot of fun. How can we even see here two trees are, that we're trying to cut around? This is just too tricky. Let's see. Can we drag it out? Going to be a bit heavy and we could do it. Awesome. Now I've been featuring tree removal here on the channel all the way back since FS15 and that is quite a few farm sims and it's just something I really really uh, do enjoy uh, sharing and showcasing. Yeah these smaller ones do disappear as well so that's a good thing and let's just see. Now I don't want to cut the other tree until all of these are cleaned up. I think that's a smarter thing just in case uh, because I do want to get lunch and not really uh, go without lunch. You always should be eating pretty healthy but let's get this one cleaned up here. 
Yeah, and then I think we'll do the stumps here at the end. Now, if you do have any cool video ideas here for me, please let me know. I really do enjoy uh, doing videos with you guys. Actually, a few of you guys requested me to do the playset, camping, things like that. And uh, I think we'll be doing a heavy rescue video probably early next week as well. And the farming series is just about ready, which I'm very, very excited for. So there we go. Wow, that is a lot, a lot of brush we have to get cleaned up here. So let's get this backed in. And I'm not sure how we're going to get the bucket truck all the way back there, but we'll uh, see what happens when that happens and we'll get the strobe lights going as well I've really just been enjoying all of the videos here on the channel and that's a big thing you really just have to enjoy what you do in making videos for all of you guys sharing my gameplay has just been awesome we'll get the pipe folded out here and I think we should be good perfect we'll get it fired up there Perfect, so we got the wood chipper all going here. Now we do want to be a bit careful, this has a ton of power, and this will just chip them all. Look at that guys, first time running it through, goes right there in the back, uh, which is awesome. Now we might have to throw, it. yeah, we'll have to probably throw a few of these, but this is awesome. I remember back in 17, the chipper didn't do as big of a piece as, uh, like this, but this is awesome. Now I am working on my brand new desk as well, I can't wait to kind of show you guys in uh, the new setup video as well, it's going to be awesome. Look at this chipper, this thing is working really hard and just doing great. Now I think these chippers probably run twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, probably on the cheap end, and they just do great work. Wow, this thing is taking the wood like nothing. Now all the uh, wood chips we do bring over, they actually get recycled into a mulch. Sometimes they dye the mulch to be red, black, but also uh, organic mulch as well. And we'll get that one on the next one. We're actually picking that up. But wow, very surprised chipping all this wood, which is great. I think we'll have to rent one of these for the homeowner series soon because we have quite a lot of tree work we have to do. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite kind of video series I do here on the channel? I do a lot of them. The homeowner series, landscaping, lawn care, uh, tree services, heavy rescue, lawn review, so many, so many things. And I do also have a big surprise coming, which I will reveal soon as well. I've been working on it here for quite a few weeks. Put that in. You know, one thing I actually just uh, realized this one had was a working winch on it as well, which was great. Perfect, so only a few more here, and then we I think we should have enough time uh, to get that big tree cut down. Uh, wood chipping is a lot easier uh, than trying to load them all into the back of the truck. Now, it kind of looks to be grabbing it, but at the same time, it seems to be slipping. So let's see if we could re-pick it up and just kind of help walk it in. Oh yeah, here it goes. Look at that, just grabs it. And that was not what we wanted to do. Now I do have the heavy uh, strong person installed here to really help out. And it's been awesome. Let's just carry that back. Oh yeah, we should have enough time to get going on that one and get to use a bucket truck. Perfect. And one or two more pieces. Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there some sneak peeks and cool updates about the channel. Now, maybe for the big surprise that I will be revealing, I might showcase it over there maybe an hour or two before the video or even a day before. So, really do recommend you go check it out because that is one awesome surprise here that's coming. Awesome, so we got all of those. The last thing before we get uh, to stump grinding is removing this tree. It's just safe to use a bucket truck. Not exactly sure uh, what's going to happen. So let's get the uh, truck turned around here. And I think, yeah, we should be able to just kind of drive in there. Actually, I would like to do it. Oh, yeah, we'll just do it right from the driveway. That might be a little bit better for us. Oh, yeah, this will be much, much better. So right here, right alongside the house. And let's get up in the bucket. Awesome, so we are up here now. Let's switch over to the controls of it, and let's see. Now this is always a little different uh, and a little unique uh, to use, but I don't think we'll have a problem getting to, uh, it all set up. Oh yeah, right about there. I think we'll only have to make one cut probably halfway up. And we are up here now, so that's pretty awesome. We'll just reach over quite a bit 
And let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. And Timber will actually just help push it over the edge there. And perfect. Awesome. And just as a perspective, look at how high we went up there. That is just so, so cool. And uh, this uh, bucket truck really helps us out. It's a lot safer than putting a ladder up against the tree. And we don't want to run the risk of damaging the house, having it crash down on it. Uh, because our insurance, our company will uh, be responsible there for it. So let's get this turned around here. And then uh, we will get this uh, all chipped up here. Now the truck is getting pretty full. You guys can actually see as well. And that was a lot of backing up there, but we got it all set up, and I think that we did just leave the chipper going there, so we should be good to go. But first, we do have to just finish cutting this. Now, I really want to use that winch for the first time, but I think we'll just hold off on that, maybe for some big, big pieces, and uh, that way we could just kind of do it by hand. It's probably a little bit faster do, uh, doing it this way. Now let me know down below in the comments guys what has been kind of the most fun thing you've done so far this summer. It's not been probably the best summer as uh, many of us has expected but I'm trying to make the most of it doing a lot of just stuff around the house. Many uh, kind of fun trips uh, to local uh, areas to do things like that. So let me know down below what you guys have been doing but wow we are just doing a great job. Uh, one or two more and then we'll be uh, doing some stump grinding. I actually don't do too much stump grinding and I definitely want to do it more because it pays really well. Like three, four hundred dollars a stump is awesome money. Now to remove each of these trees, I think we probably charge right around a thousand uh, because we have to pay for everything and also uh, get paid for the day's worth of work. And I am also trying to respond to everyone here in the comments. There's quite a few of you guys, but it's something I really do enjoy doing. And uh, just drop a comment down below here. And I actually really want to do a test. Can it chip all of this up? This would save us a ton of time here. So let's see. We'll carry it over, and it should probably just grab it. These things are insanely strong. There we go, guys, just dragging in. That is so, uh, so realistic here. That's so cool as well. So there we go. We got that pretty much done. Going to have to help this last little piece. And one little bit left. And there we go. So we got that all done. Why don't we hop here in the JCB and finish off today. Now today will be a little bit on the longer side, which is great. I am trying to do some longer videos for all of you guys. And just really, I like I have touched upon, been enjoying all of them here. We'll get this going here. This does take a few seconds, almost a minute, to get up to full speed. Let's see, can we uh, go back and forth there? That is so, so cool. I am using the uh, control panel here, just awesome. Uh, and almost looks like this one's ground up. Let's check. Go back once more, and wow, that one is done. Great. Where is the other one? It's actually right here. Keep going a little bit more now. I am now using shaders in my game. Really do like a lot. It does look awesome as well go back and forth here and we'll get it lower down wow this thing just chips it up like they're nothing and uh, those are some pretty big uh, stumps they're oak wood as well and oak is a pretty solid wood Okay, we have one last one left here, over here to the side. Now I have noticed here with the JCB it takes a lot of power away from the main controls. I'm not exactly sure why that's happening here. Hopefully we can get that fixed because I, uh, even the S70 uh, did not have any power problems. Even though, I mean, these uh, stump grinders require a ton of PTO power. But uh, that's pretty much it here for today's video. We finished the entire job. Lots and lots of wood chipping, getting to use uh, the brand new Wizard Chipper. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and subscribe for more.